What's going on? Here's a quick trade recap of uh, the trade I took today. Um, green on the day, over traded, not too happy. Um, you know, broke a lot of rules. And uh, I'm gonna kind of go over and let you guys know um, how the trade uh, worked out today. Basically, I used uh, the VWAP to create my bias. Uh, I waited till all the data was uh, completely out the way before I came uh, and even looked at the charts. Um, I took the short on the clean break of the VWAP and used a clean break above the VWAP as a stop loss. And I continued to add into my trade. Um, what I like to do is uh, as soon as the trade goes into uh, positive uh, in profit, I like to move the stop, right? That's, uh, you have to be, v it's very uh, tricky, right? You have to understand price action volume and uh, have the right timing. If not, your stops are gonna be hit a lot. And uh, as you see, a lot of my stops get hit. A lot of my stops get hit. And then when I finally catch it, it pushes down. Um, ultimately, always holding the trade the whole time, right? Holding the trade, uh, never getting out of the trade, but uh, sizing in and out. Um, right here, I should have got out, you know? Uh, I should have got out. This is when I start to over trade. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a psychological thing. Uh, trading is a you versus you. And uh, this is something I've been struggling for a long time. I've been doing this for over, uh, you know, um, 10 years now, over 10 years. And uh, over trading has always been uh, something that's uh, hurt me, right? Um, even today, even though today was profitable and, uh, you know, over trading worked in my favor, it's a bad habit to build, right? It's, um, you know, I was uh, starting to get these feelings last week. Uh, I was recognizing that um, I was starting to break my rules and um, I just, when I feel like uh, things aren't going so good, I can feel it. I can see it in my journaling. I can see it in my data. That's why it's very, very important to um, pay attention to those things. Uh, data, everything is very important. You see here, we're, we're about to break a key zone here. This is why um, you know, okay, so I'm still in the short, still holding a short bias here. Uh, again, see, over trading. I need to walk away. Uh, as I'm watching and watching a uh, spy uh, push down, uh, I'm noticing Nvidia down here starting to break below the 9 EMA. Same thing with Apple. As soon as Apple breaks below the 9, I believe that's when we have a nice push down. Um, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard when there's volatility and price action that's moving like this. It's hard to walk away, especially once you're out the train. Um, you know, this is something uh, something uh, good for me to reflect on. Um, you know, uh, even though uh, I struggle with the same problem day in and day out, I'm uh, sharpening myself and finding ways to work around it. You know, for example, I don't trade more than two hours a day. Um, you know, I make sure to set timers um, to let me know when to take a break. Uh, I try to preserve as much mental capital, um, you know, uh, but still, still, even though I take all these uh, precautions and all these steps, I still, uh, you know, I, wow, look at that big drop. I still, um, I still over trade, right? I still over trade. Look at this. I continue to add into a trade. Even after a big push down, I still add to the short side. A lot of people would be scared to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the trade there. Uh, over traded, you know, um, again, it was a green, tra uh, green trading day, but I took more trades than, uh, I usually do. It was about a three K day. Um, you know, uh, I'm reflecting on this. I'm gonna take this into uh, account. And uh, tomorrow, the only thing I can do is uh, sharpen myself. And, uh, you know, there's some days that I can walk away after the initial trade, and there's some days I can't. And, um, you know, that is, uh, that is my trial and tribulations at the moment, trying to figure how to master that, how to master that. Uh, but I've come a long way. I'll let you guys know that. I used to trade uh, six hours a day from market open to market close. Take trades from 
opened the clothes and uh you know it was <laughs> it was crazy i did that for maybe about two years straight every day and uh slowly slowly it went from six hours to four hours to uh to three hours now i'm able to cut it down to two hours max there's some days i get out before that but some days i don't um you know uh how do i decide when to trade and not to trade it has a lot to do with data has a lot to do with the volume um but with that said uh we should have a lot of volatility coming in uh we have elections uh in the next uh two weeks or so and uh, from my experience uh when elections come around it's uh the markets like to uh fly fly high so i don't know what the markets are doing uh something i, I wanted to point out before i go right um something that i always tell uh i always point out to my community right and uh i always uh little little tips and tricks and here's here's something that i was telling my community today before uh market open right I told my, my community, watch the 5 DMA and the 20 DMA, right? Um, you know, I told them I'm going to be using this as the range. I told them this before market open. Um, so I, uh, with that in mind, I used the EMAs and the VWAP. Uh, pretty much I waited for data as soon as we uh, had a clean break below the VWAP. Uh, right here on the retest, uh, this is when I got in and, uh, you know, Traded, traded, traded. Should have got out here. Over traded, over traded. Uh, 3K day. Uh, ultimately, good thing I had enough uh, smarts to walk away as soon as we started break, breaking above the VWAP, knowing that uh, the short side is finished. Going into tomorrow, same thing. Look at the range. It's it's it's. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're going to be trading this range for the rest of the week. Uh, using this as a as a as a resistance i mean as a support and this as a resistance uh if we break below this we can push down we will push down guys we'll take it another leg down if uh we break above the five then uh you know we'll probably cut cut back up um with that being said uh i don't really like to call out levels or trades uh the night before i like the levels to play out and i like to uh watch pre-market levels and go from there with that being said, hopefully uh, my trade and uh, my bad habits is able to put and shed some light on some things that you guys are going through. Um, I overtraded for many years and I still overtrade to this day. Um, you know, there's uh, good days and bad days and today was a bad day. Even though I ended it green and in profits, I, I, I truly feel that um, I'm building bad habits by continuing to do this and i can't reward uh this type of behavior uh i'll see you guys uh tomorrow